Hello everyone and welcome to Nalitech Studio. My name is Namara Alan. Previously we covered uh, so many things and finished the openings that we are seeing in this building. So today we want to do something that will crown up this model and uh, that will be the landscaping. So I decided to take a twist to this uh, tutorial and I'm giving you an addition on how you can do landscaping. So let's get started with this. So this is where we left off from. Uh, we had put in all the openings and the model is done. And then we have this reference here. So for now you can hit delete to delete that. And then go ahead and uh, in the description and find where you have downloaded the reference that I have attached. So once you have found it, go ahead and import it in here by dragging and dropping. Let's drag and drop it in here. So uh, what we have here is uh, a proposal for the site because um, not every site will be flat. So we have here some contours showing us that we have the building on to the zero ground and then we have it sloping to, towards this other side, negative 250, and this side is on the positives. So we, we want to be able to show that terrain in, in, in 3D. And also we want to put in some accesses to our garage. Remember, we have a garage there. So uh, I want, I'm going to show you two options, one for accessing directly and then another one. And that's because of the method that I want to show you how you can easily model a road on a sloping ground. So let's go ahead and as usual, right click and explode into current view. And we say OK. And when it is done, just delete the background. And of course, the first thing we want to do before we use this thing is to scale it. Just hit Ctrl K, say OK, zoom in. And then now let's take this point to this point and give it the 15 meters. Say OK. And there it is. So. Let's put it here for now. So one thing that we want to do is just take this, hmm, align it in here, and you can see just how it behaves with, with the building. So we can delete these words, this one, because they are competing with the drawing. So how do we model that? Uh, Landscaping is a bit frustrating in Akikad and that's because we don't have specific, you know, landscaping tools, of course, apart from the mesh, but it does a good job. But if, let's say you wanted to add a road, it would be so frustrating. So the way you want to model this scape using uh, information from the surveyor is you want to go into the settings of the of this model and from the reference we only have one step actually there are two steps that's a, a total of 300 so we want this mesh to be at negative 300 the access point the access height so to say and then we can leave this as the default you know uh, uh, thing and uh, the soil can, of course, this ground will be like soil. So let's leave the rest over there and we say, okay. So we want to zoom in and draw this box, this uh, site, so to say. And of course, one more thing that we could change is to remove this uh, cover field which is disturbing so go to floor plan and section and uncheck cover field if you, you have to zoom and to scroll to see it so say okay and we can now see the things beneath it so we want to add these contours to this mesh so 
with it selected just hold space bar and click there and say fit to user to user regions say okay and that's how you add those points so let's add all of them fast so then we we'll go ahead and add them and yeah we have added them so one thing that i want to show you is uh, how do we you know change this so first we have this at zero and then this goes down so we can click on one of these points and elevate them so you click here on elevate mosh point and uh, because we want to affect the whole of this line we don't want to keep doing it for every single point we have to apply to all so you say negative 250 and these points along this line will be elevated apart from these final points here uh, for them make sure that don't check apply to two points so this one is negative 250 and this one negative 250 so for these ones please don't check that because when you check it every point along our mesh will be every external point will be elevated to that to that dimension so that is what you do so here for these ones make sure this is checked and you say 500 negative 500 so to say say okay and of course this point has not been elevated to the negative 500 but this other point is elevated to that point so so keep it there so this one of course is also negative 500 and of course this one is outside so we we need it to be above zero uh, below zero because the, essentially the land is sloping this other side so it will be about what negative what 600 yeah something like that so here we have zero and good thing is that both the interior ones are at zero and also this other point here so we come here and then we elevate this uh, of course this one we want it to be at zero such that our building has no sloping whatsoever because essentially when you're building it you want to clear the site so that is it's gonna work well for us so let's check this and we add we make it 250 apply to all of course and then these points at the periphery also need to be elevated by 250 make sure that's unchecked i will say again and then also oh, we need to elevate this point here of course because this is zero we cannot have this zero after this contour unless we have that bulge so we want it to be just above the 2.5 maybe this one can be what 300 or 350 something just above there so we want to, to communicate something about this terrain let's go in 3d and i show you what i mean so in 3d we have some stuff here so it, there it is uh you 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 can see what i've been talking about we want that rise and then we want that flat and then we want that rise which is perfect for us so uh now the challenging part that i want to show you is how do you put a road to rise on here so we begin with this this option here so let's grab this make a copy of them control d control again to put it here and let's use something here we are going to use a slab as a reference so let's put a slab to show that the nature of that access road so so this is our access road so let me do it in this thing in 3d so you see exactly what i'm talking about so of course place auto orbit so now we grab this and let's 
just put, give it put it out of the way by hiding it under here because uh, let's um, give it even a tinier thickness because I need it to be just a reference of whatever is going to happen here so uh, I need you to duplicate this this mesh because this mesh follows the profile that you want to the road to follow so duplicate that by control control D and control again so such that you have that plus there then of course the duplicate should be placed about somewhere beneath the way you know land is, is, is the land form is that and then you have a recess for where the road is so recess it I will recess it for something fifth like 50 something so small such that it is not severe in the landscape so let's uh, color that so before you unselect it go to settings and color this by looking for pavement huh? maybe something dark asphalt dark and we say okay so what we have essentially done is that we have created a layer a mesh that is going to act as our road but we have you know recessed it below the current landscape i hope you get what i mean so once you have done that you want to use this top mesh because now we have that and then we have that uh, and then we have this i hope oh god it's it's hard to select but uh we have those two the one on top and the one down so we want to to use this reference that we have created this uh, slab to chop the one above so we may reveal the one beneath so this is what i mean so with the top one selected right click and then go to connect solid amount operations and then um that's the target and then here beneath here add this as the operator and then you want to select uh, subtraction with upward extrusion then you say okay and look at that we already have that road and what is essentially happening is that we have our mesh which we made modeled but then we made a copy of it beneath it and then this operator is cutting this mesh to reveal the one which is underneath which we have colored as our road so that's one quick way you can do it for if you don't have severe landscapes if you have subtle landscapes so you can create roads that fast and the beauty of this method is if uh, we have let's say the idea the design idea for the building has evolved and now we want to change how the road looks like you can bring in your new concept maybe this is the new concept you want to to bring this road let's make a copy of this and perhaps we want to close it off so let's grab a line from documents from the document tab and then we, we let's just close this off let's use just a simple line close it off here so when we do close this off and change this reference uh, and aid the thing that we have been using to cut so let's change the profile let's add something here and i think i need to use uh, something else I don't know, like these things cannot be seen weird with, with this version of like I'm using but I hope you see them those options to show how you uh, deal with the slab so let's let's do this let's uh, change the profile of our operator so once you have changed this profile go ahead and place it in here and of course we need to to be precise according to the reference so let's use that as the starting point and drag it to here which should update here exactly right there so when we go to 3d look at what happens there you have it so this is 
uh, a quick way so that you can deal with you know if you have some landscapes so uh, that is it enough of landscapes now let's finish up the model and we render it 